So this is the initial test setup with an LDR connected over on the left into a breadboard with a voltmeter, well, an ohmmeter, set up connected to the LDR to measure the resistance of the LDR. And in the middle you can see the lux meter with the sensor here and the display. And notice as I shade the lux meter and the LDR, the lux goes down and the resistance is going up. Let the light shine on it a little bit brighter and the resistance goes down and the lux goes up. So now what I'm going to do is under a number of different lighting conditions, so different shading, brighter light shining directly on it, I will measure a number of different light levels along with the corresponding resistance levels that are given by the LDR. Building the hardware for this lux meter is really simple. You see I've got a, a, an Arduino on the bottom. I've plugged an LCD shield into the top and then I've just connected the LDR and a 5K resistor directly directly into the Arduino or at least into the LCD shield. And now to power the Arduino, to power my system, I'm going to use a battery, a, a simple USB battery here, plug it in and I've got my lux meter running. I've got a fairly bright light shining down on here, so it's about 2300. Well, it's jumping up to 3000 lux. So it's jumping out, jumping around quite a bit as I as I move around and cast my shadow on the LDR. Now let's take a look at the at a comparison between my lux meter and a commercially available one. So here's a side by side comparison of my LDR based lux meter and a commercial lux meter. It's the LX102 from Lutron. Uh, I've tried to get the sensors as close together as possible, but there's of course a chance that the shadows falling on one is a little bit different than the shadow falling on, an, on another. But you can see that the, the lux between the, the difference between the two is fairly minimal. They're both jumping around a little bit as the, as the shadows change, but they're all within 30 to 40 lux. Uh, if I do something like cast a shadow over them, they both drop down. I don't have a really bright light right now. I will add one in. Okay, so I've got a, a brighter light shining down on the two sensors now, and you can notice the difference is a little bit more, maybe around a hundred lux difference between the two. And there's a good chance that's because it's it's uh, just with my setup here, it's harder for me to get the light shining directly on both the sensors in the same manner. So I think what I could say in general is this lux meter I created from the LDR is good enough if you just want to know sort of what the general levels of lights are in a, in a room or at a bench where you're working. It's not going to be enough to give you a calibrated measurement, and in fact you probably couldn't really calibrate this very well. But using a really cheap LDR, a simple setup with an Arduino, you can get a half decent lux meter. <laughs> We'll <laughs>